Facebook now admitting they made a big mistake after banning Reverend Franklin Graham for 24 hours. That's right. The Reverend Graham was banned for over 24 hours over a post from 2016. The post supported North Carolina's controversial bathroom bill. And Reverend Graham is calling out the site saying Facebook is censoring free speech. They're making and changing the rules. Truth is truth. God made the rules and his word is truth. The free exchange of ideas is part of our country's DNA. Facebook has since restored the Reverend's page and we'll get to that. But many are still unhappy with the site's overreach and censorship, including Franklin Graham, who joins us now. Reverend, thank you very much for being here this morning. Uh, your reaction okay. overall to how, how something like this transpires? Well, it just came out of nowhere. It just came out of left field. Uh, all of a sudden, we got a notification that we were blocked from something back in 2016. Now, Facebook uh, acknowledges that they get uh, billions of posts every day, and they have, I've heard, from 7,500 to 15,000 people who monitor, and uh, they have just a few seconds to, to catch a bad post. Well, if why are they going back then to 2016? Uh, I think it was uh, uh, just really a personal attack toward me. Uh, the, the post was I was defending our governor and the legislatures of this state on a very controversial bill, the, yeah, the right, House right. Bill Number Two. Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a good law, and it was a, to protect women and children. But with Facebook, uh, the problem with Facebook is it's sexual orientation. Uh, if you disagree with sexual their their position on sexual orientation, then you can be uh, classified as hate speech yeah. or that you are a racist. Right. And, and this is a problem. And the Bible is truth, and I would hope they would look to the Bible and get some instruction from God's word. Uh, that would be a pretty simple rule to follow. We'll see whether they actually do it. Here's the post. I was trying to get in here just so we can explain how ridiculous this really is. This is a post from 2016 where you wrote, Bruce Springsteen, a longtime gay rights activist, has canceled his North Carolina concert. He says the North Carolina law to prevent men from being able to use women's restrooms and locker rooms is going backwards. Well, to be honest, we need to go back, you wrote, back to God. Now, Facebook, in their, let me just say what they say. We define hate speech as a direct attack on people based on what we call protected characteristics, race, ethnicity, national origin, religious affiliation, sexual orientation, caste, sex, gender, gender identity, and serious disease or disability. So you get the idea. Uh, what, what say you about all of this? <laughs> Uh, Facebook's a private company, and uh, they can certainly uh, do what they want. Uh, but uh, the the president of the company, Mark Zuckerberg, when he spoke before Congress back, I think it was April, he said uh, Facebook is a platform for all ideas. Well, it's obvious uh, his staff hasn't got that memo. Uh, I, I, I encourage uh, Facebook to to have a standard that uh, doesn't move. Uh, they're constantly working. I think it's every two weeks to get together and they reformat these standards. Uh, I think they ought to just come up with a standard based on God's word, and that applies to all people in every country, uh, everywhere in the world. Our, and uh, and if they would support free speech, I think uh, it would be um, be good for them. All right. Well, here's a statement from Facebook, Reverend. It says a page admin, admin for Franklin Graham's Facebook page did receive a 24-hour feature block after we removed a post for violating our hate speech policies. Upon reviewing this content, we identified that the post does not violate our hate speech policy, and it has been restored. <laughs> Really quickly, I just want to say, you know, you have what you say Facebook should do, but a lot of Christians look up to you. What is the Christian response to this kind of censoring? To bring it to the open, should, should Christians boycott Facebook? What are, you, what are you recommending or suggesting? Well, first of all, I accept Facebook's apology, and I appreciate them uh, stepping up and doing that. But I think as, as Christians, uh, we don't back down, and we don't change who we are and what we say and what we do. Uh, we, we, rep uh, we represent uh, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. All truth is in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I would encourage Facebook, and for Christians, uh, to, to stand on God's word and his truth. But the scary point about this, Reverend, just to close briefly, is that it's not like it was a post you put out yesterday or two days ago or three days ago. No. The admin didn't miss it within three or four seconds. Someone went back to 2016 right. and made a decision. 
That's right. It feels and that, like targeting. That, that's uh, worrisome. And but this this isn't going to be good for Facebook. I would encourage them uh, to to look at their standards and their rules and uh, let it be a platform for all ideas. I, I'm certainly against hate speech. I'm certainly against people people using Facebook to to incite yeah. violence against somebody like that. That's terrible. Uh, but just having a different opinion other than somebody at Facebook well, and then to be labeled right. as hate speech right. as that's that's, that's, that's right. how they Graham, do it. We are really happy you are finally out of Facebook jail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. They're Thank free. you very Thank much. You. Thanks for Appreciate coming it. in. Bye.